Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, animatorsforum.com, as well as Real Illusion Forum. Uh, the user asking today about trying to, I don't know, do something with the face, trying to, to um, maybe lighten up an area of the face or work on the face or something. So I thought I would combine that with a uh, tutorial to show you how you can adjust the facial textures. Uh, maybe we'll put a little, uh, a little blemish or a wound on this guy. So what we do is here we're in Character Creator. Character Creator, okay, right here. I've got the facial texture selected, so the skin for the head selected up here. And I have the base color selected here. Uh, if you want to get real fancy, you can work on the, on the bump maps and stuff. But I'm just going to work on the base color here to, uh, to show you. If you have um, your, your text editor attached, and you can go in and attach which editor you're using. I'm using Photoshop. And you go to this particular button here. What this will do is send whatever texture you're, or whatever map you're actually on, uh, to to your editor. So in this particular case, it sends it to Photoshop. Okay. So now we're in Photoshop. This is uh, Photoshop, and that's the face. And any changes we make here, we can then immediately send back to Character Creator. Uh, so what we're going to do is I have uh, captured this little blemish here from uh, the web. The web. And we're going to take this blemish. Oops, first I think I'm going to make it bigger. Oops, not, not that way. I'm going to make it bigger overall. There we go. That way, and move around. This is some guy's knee scrape here, but it, I'm going to put it on this guy's chin here instead. So we'll put it, put it right about here, for example. And you can edit it any way you want. And we're in, uh, so that makes it automatically makes it a layer. So that we'll say, okay, we'll, we'll do that. And then um, I'm going to merge this layer down eventually, but right now I want to get rid of these edges here. So if I click here, for uh, if I go to the Erasure tool and uh, click on it, then it has to be rasterized. So yes, we're going to rasterize it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and erase the edges that I don't need. Real simple. Don't, don't want these, this stuff in here. So I'm just deleting the edges here. Using an eraser with kind of a... Uh, my, my erasure settings are kind of a softness here so because I want to have it blurred on the edges here. So I'll blur those edges off. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to merge this down. I'm going to click this and merge down. So now it's all together. And now if I go to the healing brush and go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here and then maybe make the uh, edge of that texture there. And now I can, <laughs> it's kind of ironic that I'm using the healing brush around this wound, but basically it's blending those edges even further in uh, for where, so it looks more like real, like it really happened to this guy. Okay, we'll do that. And you can get as, as fancy as you want with this, but I just wanted to show you. So now once I've got it to where I like it, then all I have to do is go up here to File and do Save. And when I save it, it immediately comes over into uh, Character Creator. So that's, so that's how that, uh, that thing works. It goes back and forth. It has a, I'm not sure what they used to call that, but the, but the programs are linked together. So they send the metadata back and forth. So that's how simple it is. So, and, and he was having a problem with an area here that he wanted to darken or lighten or something, but it works exactly the same. In other words, you, now if I have this and I go, you know, I got to remove that blemish, then I would work in reverse. I would take this, go to launch and send this, uh, you know, I could close this off here. And then I would go back to here. If this came out this way and I went, you know, I really don't like that wound on that guy. So I would, I would go to launch. It would send the texture back there. And there's that texture there. And then I would go ahead and, and fix this guy. So, you know, using that same brush tool, I could go ahead and, uh, if, if this was a real person in real life, you could, you could fix his, uh, his or her skin and make it look fine. Okay. So that's, that's basically how you do it. And again, once again, if I just do that and do a save and then come back here and then I saved it. So that's, that's basically all you have to do. You can go back and forth between your programs and edit all you want. And, uh, Hopefully this gives you some ideas, and uh, if you have any other questions, I'll put them in the comments below, or let me know on the forums. See you around.